Hello friends, world is now going crazy about one of the new invention which is taken internet by a storm. The open AI product ChatGPT. Within a week of its launch, ChatGPT has crossed more than 1 million users. Maybe this is the new beginning for all of us. Last time this kind of impact we have seen during launch of Google and undoubtedly we are now about to enter to a new era of new possibilities. So join me today to get to know about ChatGPT. Till recently, we are all talking about search engine like Google, where you can search anything you want and you can get lots of ready-made materials to refer. Then comes AI and machine learnings. And as you know, that this manipulates data and provides you the more insights about the data. Like what could be the most favorite food for you? Or maybe what kind of climate you can expect during this time at certain places in the world? Or what could be the people's preference for choosing a certain brand? so on and so forth. All these above examples, it depends on human how to build those system. Whatever you have programmed it, it will respond like that way. For example, if you are watching Facebook and you like travel blogs, so every time you logging into FB, you may able to see lots of travel reels, stories, blogs waiting for you. So depending upon your behavioral pattern, it's designed like that way. But this will be matter of past soon, because we have now chat GPT by OpenAI which has taken these things to the next level. Now system will behave like human. The robots or bots now will have brain along with the data and program. If you want to write a blog about anything which will be unique in the internet, I mean no one ever wrote earlier, you can just ask this monster and it will get that. If you want to build a system but you don't know coding, ask him. He will do the rest for you. If you have written your code and want to have a review, not sure why it is breaking, ask him, he will correct your code. If you are a student and want to submit thesis paper on some topic which no one done yet, it can do that for you. Whenever we are doing any search using chat GPT, it's actually traversing last 10 to 20 years of data, then it's trying to understand the context, it's trying to understand the data and then it will provide you the things word by word. It will do everything for you. It seems the Hollywood movies are coming into a reality where bots can do all for you. OpenAI, the parent company of ChatGPT founded in 2015 by Sam Altman and none other than the man Elon Musk. Though Musk stepped down later, but he remains the donor and the advisor. Today, Microsoft and India-American businessman Khosla Ventures are two big investors in this company. And long back, Indian software MNC, Infosys also invested into this company during the OpenAI research. This OpenAI company was researching on generative AI for some time. So what is this generative AI? Generative AI leverages the AI and machine learning algorithms to enable machines to generate artificial content such as text, images, audio and video content based on its training data. And it will present in such a way that you will believe that it is actually providing by some human being. You may have came across lots of pictures in the social media about image restoration like old to new, black and white to color or maybe how it look like after 40 years from now. Even it is so powerful that it can help to create images from simple text. Let's say if you just describe the situation and it will produce the picture for you. So this is one of the example of generative AI. Now if you see the open API documentation for chat GPT, this is the description. So as the name suggests, it's having two parts. First one is the chat, the chatbot, and second one is the GPT, which is Generative Pre-trained Transformer. So some technical background. A GPT is a type of large language model that uses deep learning to generate human-like text. They are called generative because they can generate new text based on the input they receive. Pre-trained because they are trained on a large data set and transformer because they use a transformer based neural network architecture to process input text and generate output text. So this is the main system or engine behind all this. In ChatGPT, for now data have been feeded till 
2021 so it will not able to provide you accurate answer post 2021 in this beta version so now you can keep this technical things at aside because to use chat gpt you don't need all this you can just use it to generate new business ideas and make money if you are a content writer you can go ahead and use it without thinking about anything if you are a journalist you can go ahead and publish report on some event if you are into digital marketing you can advertise your product in better way which no one can do ever so it's having huge possibilities and that's the reason people are telling it might be the end for google the way we search the internet what will happen that time will tell but for now i think that you have enjoyed this session and this information may be useful for you so please do like comment and share and thanks for your valuable time